hyperventilation. <sighs> Why doesn't that bring more oxygen into my body? It certainly brings more oxygen into my lungs and it certainly brings oxygen to my blood, but that's not the same as getting it to the cellular level. There's something called the Bohr effect, is that when oxygen comes in, it is bound to hemoglobin. It's called oxyhemoglobin, or HBO2, and essentially these hemoglobin molecules, they hold on to the oxygen and it's transported around, and that's all fine. However, in the absence of carbon dioxide, it's very difficult for your cells in the body to access that oxygen. So you've got a whole bunch of oxygen that your body can't get access to. And so that's why <sighs> plenty of oxygen and yet I'm getting a headache. Plenty of oxygen and yet my brain gets oxygen deprived and I might even faint. When we look at most serious practitioners of breath work, the majority of their breathing practices focus on this balance of oxygen and CO2, which usually comes down to slowing down their breath normalizing their breathing patterns.